Hey InfoSec Island folks, this is Anthony continuing my coverage down at Black Hat in Las Vegas. I am here with an old friend, Alexander Polyakov. He's the Chief Technical Officer of ERP Scan. Alexander, how are you doing? Uh, well, thanks. And so uh, you just caught me here in the hallway and you uh, told me that you've got some information on a new vulnerability that ERP Scan has discovered. Uh, can you fill me in on it a little bit? Yeah. So basically, we found a vulnerability in, in a SAP platform, in the Java, uh, Java stack of SAP platform. And if we try to go technically, so this is uh, it's kind of new attack, like it's called server side request forgery. And the thing is, like if you have an XML interface based on the outside the, your which can be accessed from the internet. You have XML interface, and this XML interface can be accessed remotely without authentication. And the problem is that there is an old school vulnerability called XML external entity, and we found a way to send any kind of TCP packet uh, through the XML packet. So it's kind of injection of TCP packets in, into the XML packets. And it's possible to bypass any kind of restrictions and like firewalls. So normally the companies use like a DMZ, a secure network, and very secure network, and they all are connected, uh, all are, have firewalls. But some systems are connected with links, so it means that if you can uh, break the system which is uh, accessed from the internet and send any TCP packet, it is possible to uh, make attack to inside the company. And so we will show the example of this attack, how to exploit the SAP system through the internet and then get this data back. And it will bypass the firewalls and IDS systems because it's constructing the packet in packets and in another packet. So, and the most interesting thing that's uh, later on we found that it's not a SAP self vulnerability, its vulnerability is in the Java stack. So Java Virtual Machine is also vulnerable to this kind of attack. So how and widespread would you say this vulnerability is then, uh, as far as uh, enterprise uh, that are susceptible? Yeah, so it's uh, the, mostly it's focused uh, for the enterprise systems because uh, enterprise systems use uh, SOA architecture and the XML, uh, SOAP uh, and this kind of stuff and so this vulnerability is targeting XML, uh, XML protocol so many enterprise applications use XML protocol so basically most of the ERP systems and enterprise service bus systems and even uh, it's possible to attack the SCADA systems too because they are uh, mostly connected to the ERP and if they have a connection it is possible to use this connection using the, uh, our attack. So, and, uh, um, so uh, given that the, this is a vulnerability that you've discovered, are you aware of any active exploits in the wild right now? Uh, no, uh, we didn't see this kind of exploits in the wild, uh, but we we are pre presented uh, like like a real exploit how it can be used, so how attacker can do this. And if uh, SCADA systems are also vulnerable to this uh, as well as uh, enterprise, uh, is this something that uh, hey, uh, you've alerted uh, uh, ICS cert to as well, or? So the thing is uh, that. It's not a vulnerability for ERP or for SCADA. The problem is that uh, if, even if you have secure, uh, some system which is secured by firewall, and if you secure a system by firewall, you probably don't install the patches. And the thing is, it, if, it, if you have a SCADA system or a PLC device secured by firewall, it should have some kind of connections with other systems because data must be transferred to other systems. And if you have this kind of connection, even if you have the firewall, some kind of systems can have access. So you should attack this system and if they are connected with the uh, XML interface and many um, DCS systems, uh, sometimes they, they are used to connect uh, ARP with SCADA, they use XML interfaces, so if you attack uh, some system with XML interface, it's possible to get access to the SCADA system too. And, uh, and what have you found as far as uh, viable mitigation? Uh, so for the uh, SAP company, they, uh, 
they released the patch for these vulnerabilities, so SAP systems uh, now, is, now are not vulnerable. And for the Oracle, uh, for, for the GVM, which is used in different uh, application servers like Oracle and uh, etc., it is uh, like, like a it's possible way is to prevent uh, uh, attacks like uh, XML external entity attacks. So you need to find all your XML interfaces and be sure that uh, only uh, systems and, and only authorized access is uh, possible to XML interfaces. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for grabbing me uh, to share that vulnerability with me, and, and good job uh, discovering that. And uh, this is Alexander Polyakov. He is the uh, Chief Technical Officer of ERP Scan. It's always nice to run into you, Alexander. Yeah. Nice to meet you all too.